House family on behalf of Bishop and Lady McLaughlin we welcome you to the Potter's House now it's time for some quick news and announcements this has been a pretty busy week here at the church we hosted civic leaders we honored our vets and blessed many families with Thanksgiving meals on Tuesday city and military leaders came together for the annual Veterans Day job fair Mayor Lenny Curry and a host of dignitaries joined Bishop McLaughlin as they honored our vets and officially opened up the job fair for those who came Many were grateful to be able to help and honor those who have served. Jacksonville Transportation Authority is here um, to employ veterans. With me being a veteran and also us having other veterans that are employed by JTA, we understand the need to bring on members who have, well, people who have served our country, so that's why we're here. The mayor and other military leaders were especially glad to have partnered with the Potter's House. Uh, Potter's House and Bishop McLaughlin has uh, done so much for this community uh, and you know coming off of the week of valor where we honor veterans uh, in our words and our compassion uh, today's about action because after all you have to be about results and grateful for the partnership with uh, Bishop McLaughlin and the Potter's House to make sure that we are uh, giving our vets and uh, members of the military uh, opportunities. Um, it, it, this is really a wonderful day. It's great to be here. It's great to see so much passion and commitment from the city and from the faith community, from um, Bishop McLaughlin and Pastor Wiggins who have set forth uh, to really on a path to make sure that our veterans here in the, in the city are taken care of, to make sure that they're hired and they have wonderful job opportunities, and to make sure that we are able to reinvest their, their talent. Some really amazing, uh, sometimes um, difficult and very challenging experiences that our veterans have had um, in their military careers, and to be able to have them here in Jacksonville is a true treasure. And I could not be more humbled and honored to be here to be able to witness this job uh, fair today. So thank you very much. It's great to be here. The Thanksgiving giveaway was this Saturday, and many who came out received the love of Christ and something good to enjoy and eat for the holidays. Good morning, Potter's House Saints. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here on location at the Potter's House for the uh, annual Thanksgiving giveaway. Hundreds of people have descended upon the Potter's House here uh, to be blessed, to get their physical needs met, to get their spiritual needs met. We've got turkeys, we've got uh, the fixings to go along with it. We've got hundreds of volunteers out here to help and service the community. After welcoming words from our bishop, the event kicked off with a mime dance by David and Imari Taylor. Jennifer Weeks followed up with some hilarious stand-up comedy. Our praise and dance teenagers moved the audience with their worship dance, and none other than Brother Heston himself closed with a powerful song. Closing was Bishop with a mighty word from God about not coming to church, but being the church. More specifically, giving God thanks by being a blessing to others. And of course, the most important fact, that Jesus is real. The event came to a close with the giving of the turkeys. Hey guys, today was a wonderful day, blessed day. You can see we had hundreds of people come out uh, for the Thanksgiving giveaway. Thank you all that prayed. Thank you for everybody that worked to make this day a wonderful day. Many people recommitted themselves to the Lord. Some accepted the Lord for the first time and Jesus was exalted. The message today is that Jesus is just real and this is proof that he's real. He said, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, take care of the poor and the needy, the widows, the orphans, and we're doing just that, all right? So thank you for being the church, not going to church, not having the church, but being the church of Jesus Christ. I love y'all, I wouldn't be nowhere else. Good morning, Potter's House. This is Ella Harry uh, over at the Discipleship Ministry. We're wrapping up our annual Thanksgiving non giveaway. Um, Bishop just got through preaching an awesome word which encouraged the people. Over 50 people got saved. We're about to give over a thousand turkeys to the community. Uh, the community is blessed. 
Oh man, the service was truly amazing. It was truly, we truly was blessed. And I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who gave donations. I want to say a big thank you to our bishop and first lady. Also to Elder Coxum. I also want to give a thank you to all of our volunteers, our comedian Jim Weeks, our praise team, our praise dancers. Oh, and everybody, whoever I forgot, we just want to say thank you. We truly appreciate you. And so many people was blessed on today. Thank you, Potter Souls, for all that you do, your giving, your sacrifice, and all the people that made this possible. I want to thank all of you. And it's all uh, thanks to you guys at the Potter Souls. Remember, we will celebrate Thanksgiving this week, and the church and mall offices will be closed. Join us for a Thanksgiving Eve service on Wednesday night, and we will not have service on Friday night. A quick reminder, those who order Thanksgiving meals from the Bistro can pick them up on Wednesday, November 23rd. For those who may not know it, Lady ministers every week to many in need of encouragement, prayer, and healing. She uses the Word of God to help people understand the true power of God and the wisdom He has given us to take care of our physical temple. And this week, MCCI took the time to honor Lady McLaughlin for five years of service and ministry at the MCCI Medical Group, doctors and staff of Gateway. She's been a blessing to this clinic with our patients and the community. The impact she's done since she's been here for the five years is wonderful. Thank you, Lady, for your faithfulness to ministry and the encouragement of others. Speaking of inspiration, here's some news on Grief Share. The Inspirational Care Ministry will conduct its third holiday edition of Grief Share. This free workshop support group is designed to give inspiration and truth through God's Word to all those who are hurting due to the loss of a loved one, especially during our fall holiday season, which covers Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's celebration. If interested, please call the church to sign up. Remember. Temple Builders is having a cardio equipment silent auction. Items include treadmills, elliptical machines, stationary bikes, stair steppers, and more. The starting bid price is $600. That is just a fraction of the $4,000 original cost. If interested, you can start bidding now until November 26. Items are available as is, and if you bid and it matches the price, you win instantly. Please call Temple Builders to participate. In December, look out for our consecration. It starts on December the 1st. And Christmas service will take place Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on December 25th, which is Christmas Day. Join us as we celebrate Christmas from around the world. Then, the new year rolls around and we invite you to join a New Year's Day Worship and Vision Sunday starting at 10 a.m. on January 1st. Those in pursuit of higher education, Barry University will be in our lobby on December the 4th. Remember, Partners House employees and members receive a 20% tuition discount. For more information, call 904-674-1677. Sticking with education, the Partners House Christian Academy is hosting their book fair here today. So make sure you stop in the lobby to see what they have for your little ones. Speaking of the Academy, our boys varsity squad traveled to the graveyard, Reigns High School to be exact, and took on Bishop's alma mater for the first time in regular season play. The Vikings fought hard but could not survive the hard play and hustle from our boys as the Lions won decisively 73-55. to Saints, it's been a busy season for our Bishop, but that's not stopping him from ministering the Word of God. So tonight, he along with our music ministry will fellowship and minister at Builders of the Faith and Pastor Robert Brown tonight at 6 p.m. Everyone is invited, so please come out for a special night of worship and word. It will be a blessing. And that's it for your TPHIM news. Now can we give God a huge praise for all the great things he has done here at the Potter's House.